investigation that turned into a death investigation after human remains were discovered in a trash fire in Cary. It happened on Dorset Drive, not far from Blonde Park. Another person was also found there uh, injured on the property. Demise Price, she's been spending much of the day there on the sea. Now, Demise, uh, I'm, I'm sure very active there behind you. What else have you learned this, uh, tonight? Hey, Dewan, with every turn, there's a different layer to this investigation that is unfolding just behind me here on Dorset Drive. Certainly a lot to piece together here, but we will walk you through the information we have. We have human remains were found in a fire pit in the backyard of this home, according to Carrie PD. The homeowner is in the hospital with a self-inflicted gunshot wound and a woman who is now talking with investigators, hoping to help them piece this all together. So this started out as a call from a neighbor about an illegal trash burn at the home in the 600 block of Dorset Drive here in Cary. Once the fire was extinguished, fire investigators found human remains in the debris, and this was quickly moved into a death investigation. Now, due to the condition of the remains, the person hasn't been identified. Once police arrived, they searched the property and the home, and they found the homeowner inside an RV parked out here with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was transported to a hospital with life-threatening injuries. A woman was also found at the home but she was not injured. That relationship, the homeowner and the woman, police are working to make that connection right now. Also, this home is being renovated, and that's why there was a fire pit in the backyard, according to police, so the homeowner could burn trash from the renovation. The homeowner also lived in the RV while the house was being renovated. Meanwhile, neighbors have questions. People have stopped by all afternoon trying to find out what's going on, and once they find out, they're shocked. That was oh very, boy. Yeah. In this neighborhood, it's really quiet. It's really sad to hear that. That it's so close to home, mm -hmm. you know. And you, you and your neighbor's pretty close, so this is kind of... Yeah, it's shocking. It's yeah. very shocking. I also spoke with neighbors who knew the homeowner. One woman welcomed him into the neighborhood, made him dinner. She described him as being very mannerable, but she did tell me things were changing over the last year. Certainly a lot of moving parts to this investigation, and we are working through it all. We